A bright wing? Illidan? Artanis? Wow. All right. What a... Oh, I'm sure my... My list probably looks pretty similar. A Deckard main? Oh my god, I got a Deckard main. Well, that's pretty nifty. What should I ban, genius? I guess... Did... Huh. Was he... Was he upset that he didn't... I have no idea. Kale fast at the moment. The Johanna gone. Calls. Deckard, Kale Thos. I mean, I've been really enjoying Diablo into Johanna, as crazy as that is. Quantum. Back. We're looking at... Let's, let's avoid the double mage right now. I like Diablo alongside the Lost Vikings, too, because then at least we're getting picks and being more active. Distracting from the Vikings. Well, let's test my theory. If our weird... Ah, oh, no. Not again. But they have a Johanna already, so I guess we won't have to worry about it. Uh, he was he was flexing on us on the end there with his massive... His massive taunt. Interesting. Surely they've seen Noob Slayer before. I mean, the Medivh is not a bad counter to the Lost Vikings, hunting him down. So we're double burst into Medivh. But, you know, Falstad's sustainy. I don't know what the Kael'thas is for, though, when they have a Medivh. Yitar, guide my path. That's aggressive. Well, this guy, he's... He's he's trying to nail the cello. He's not sure what's working for him right now. A Li Ming. Wild. Pick Vikings. <laughs> this quantum. YOLO. I mean, they got Li Ming, Medivh, Kyrazim, Greymane. Do they have enough ways to teleport in on you and destroy your Vikings? He's going to do it. I mean, we might just overwhelm them. Clearly, they have to show up for team fights at some point. Oh, man. I feel like I got to come up with, like, the perfect... I need the perfect pick for all this craziness that is going on right now who is the hero with the most could be his smurf would already be masters who is the most resilient to crazy people in terms of because even Jaina as solid as she is She's not very resistant to the draft going all weird. Rainer's too slow. He's susceptible to getting repositioned all the time, too. Oh, uh, you get one to ma- I mean, I get it. He streams a lot, too. Who wants to wait that long when you're in Masters, right? Just start up another Smurf. I don't know how you- Like, how do you- How do you solve that problem? People always say just start banning Smurfs, but- what are you gonna do? You well, you know what? I mean, at least he's in good spirits. So let's see. We got it's a seven-sided strikey sort of business. Yeah, Deckard. I mean, honestly, I've really been loving my one build, so I'm gonna do my one build. Okay, so where are we going? I mean, help, help. I mean, we're not gonna. Sins. 
Nope, now Deckard's getting... Now business is going down in the woods. There goes Falstead to the top, so we should go top. I agree. I agree 100%. I agree. I, I couldn't agree more. At this current juncture. Yeah, no, we we, we want to we want to. Yeah. But we're just we're going to we're going to go with the flow. We're going to siege some buildings. We're going to body block Johanna with a Kale boss. Tower shots hurt. We're a little late to get our well, so let's just hang out. Well, they got a camp, but we're still doing okay. So it looks like currently Falstad's not down down with the clown. And Medivh is zoning out the Lost Vikings. I think so from Gore. I think we're we're going to Wild Town. Now, KT, he's gonna, you know, I I do really well in this lane, and we're gonna get a lot of souls just hitting Johanna over and over again, and she doesn't know it. Well, we got a camp in the top, so let's leave Lost Vikings to do their business. Well, that was a good hit. Now, who's that back there? That's a Kyrazim. Ooh, nice dodge there, Deckard. Gray main coming in. Stealthing out. <laughs> uh, Johanna is clearing top at the moment. There we go. And there. Okay. All right. Okay. False dad calls for retreat. This is the but this is the lane we want to be in. There's no Velos Viking here currently. False dad. False dad. This, this is the this is the very lane we want to be in. Unless I'm not understanding something in particular. Hey, we killed Johanna. It's more of a emotional victory. Great main is all over that bottom though. Oh, Falstad stole a camp. I mean, that's clearly his favorite. His favorite activity is clearly stealing camps. The Li Ming getting the false <laughs> who took the camp. But we're gonna push on top. No, it, it could be, like, there could be elements, too, that I don't quite understand. For me, when we play with Lost Vikings, I'm so used to all stacking in the boss lane so that we have that advantage when we do a boss later on. Oh, 
I like the way the Kael'thas, though, is casting his goodies. I mean, I, I think we want to be his four, right? Like, that'd be... That'd be the preferred plan. I think that's what we'd all like to be doing. <laughs> well, I can be time stopped. So let's do Apocalypse. Okay, but we're going to have no mana for this objective. All right, oh, it's already over. Okay, let's go get some mana before objective. I got to go to mana town. Johan is once again clearing the top. Well, that's a good point. I mean, you know, they well, maybe in this next one, right? Because they're adding PvP, everyone will be a lot less powerful. <laughs> Wait, no, someone stop that. Someone stop that, Johanna. There we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. I mean, if anything, I'm really excited for the PvP in Diablo, not because I think that I'll be playing a lot of D Diablo PvP, but just look what PvP's done for things like Dark Souls. And I mean, that thing's broken as heck, but... It, it really kind of keeps the game alive for the hardcores. Where was Kael'thas? I missed my stun. Well, that was confusing. Plus, I'm out of mana again. With my special Diablo build here. Got displaced. I still got no mana. Oh dear. Oh, you know what? We should make it last. I'll be back. We'll get souls again. We'll auto attack Johanna.
tend to avoid it mostly. That's fair. I mean, you do what's fun for you, right? This should drag them off the boss is the important part. We've got a dude in lane. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? So there's really no point in us busting our butts to get in there. They can have this one still. I mean, we have 16. Can we do an invade? It's all the way in the bottom. I can do a, a ranged interrupt if we need to, just to give us the time. Mr. Falstead? Keep fighting because we're taking down the core with <laughs> We should <laughs> Alright. Well, GG. The Diablo build continues to work. The anti Johanna uh, apparently you just auto attack things. Oh uh, you know, lost Vikings. Apparently. Weird. Very weird. What a low damage game, too. I guess because we were all too busy. Absolutely, I'd be happy to show off my ridiculous build. It's not anything that anyone has been publicizing. I think that doing your flame stomp lightning breath is still going to be preferred. I have found, though, that Feast on Fear, the 12% heal into Life Leech, where I get to wail on someone like Johanna who just hangs out in my range. Diabolic momentum. That's why I was about a man of the whole time. Stunning enemy here with shadow charge overpower increases Diablo's attack speed up to 100%. So you're self healing yourself through auto attacks. And then this thing with diabolic momentum gain two additional charges of overpowered is really cute with the feast on fear. I think it might be over cute, honestly. I could probably do a different seven. Either lose this seven or lose this 16. But it's just a lot of fun. And I got to kind of juggle great you like juggle tank the enemy like gray main there this is just a really fun build <laughs>